In this video, I'm going to do an example of an oblique view. So here is my orthographic view. Here's my top view, front view, and right side view. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, let's see here. I'm going to draw a line for where I'm gonna start my oblique view. So I'm gonna draw it, uh, I'll draw it up 20, because everything I have is 20 inches away from each other. All right, and then I'm gonna go down here to my status bar and right click and go to snap settings. I'm gonna go to polar tracking. I'm going to turn this on, so make sure there's a check mark, and I'm going to change my angle to 45 degrees. Okay, and so when we're doing orthographic drawings, go to the example, we will have our front view. These circles are not, okay, anyways, we'll have a front view that has, uh, that is to scale. So this will actually be our 20 inches right here. And going up, this will be our 10.5 inches. However, all of these lines are gonna be at a 45 degree angle and they will be half scale. So for example, we can see that this entire line is 10.5. So we'll draw it at 10.5 divided by two at a 45 degree angle. So let's get started. All right, one simple way to get started is you can actually just copy your <laughs> front view. So I'm gonna do Control Shift C on my keyboard. I, I like this method of copying because I can pick a base point. So I'll click this as my base point. And so when I do Control V to paste it, I can, I chose this as my base point so I can easily paste it where I want to. All right, then I will delete that line. I'll go up here. Um, this is going to be back in our oblique view. Delete that, delete that, delete that. All right, and then we'll first get started with um, drawing this portion here. So I'm gonna do a line and I'm gonna go back by 10.5 divided by two, so I'll go here. And then because I turn my polar tracking on, you can see that wherever that green line is, that's gonna be the 45 degree angle. So I'm going to do 10.5 right here, escape. And then if you're too tired to do mental math, which for our assignment, there's a lot of very small numbers. So what you can do is you can click on the line, Go to scale, it says specify base point. I want this point because I don't want that point to move. And then my scale, I'll type in 0.5, which will divide that 10.5 by two. Then enter, and there we go. Now, if I look at the right click, go to properties, I can see the length is 5.25, which is 10.5 divided by two, so that's good. All right. And then I'm just gonna copy this line over. So I'm gonna do Control Shift C on my keyboard, specify base point, so I'll click that. Then I'll do Control V on my keyboard and paste that over there. All right, and then I will connect those lines right there. And just to note that the front facing circles, you do not need to draw them a specific way. So if this circle is drawn correctly, you just do a normal circle. We have a diameter of 2.1. So you go to circle center diameter to draw this circle. All right, then I'm gonna draw a line and I will draw it down. Um, this is a square right here. So it's just gonna be down by 3.25, I guess a cube would be a better word for that. Okay, and then I will uh, see here, or you can also see right here um, is the cube. So let me make sure, I'm gonna measure from here to here. Oh, that's 2.25. So I'm gonna actually 
delete this line and draw another line. So down 2.25, enter. All right, and that's where my cube is gonna start. I'm gonna put it in the 45 degree and the cube is 3.25, enter. Escape, I'm gonna do my scale. So click on that, go to scale, click my base point, 7.5, enter. All right, and then I'll draw a line from here to here, which is 3.25, so that's two scale, escape, and another line from here to here, which is 3.25, enter, and then connect those, escape, all right, and then from our front view, we can see it goes down by 3.25, so 3.25, enter, escape. Okay, 3.25, enter, and then connect those two. Now we need to do a 45 degree angle back, so 3.25, enter, escape. And we'll scale that, so scale this, enter. My base is that point, and it'll be we want to do it by divided by two, so multiply it by 0. 0.5. All right, and then you will just connect here to here, and it should be at 90 degree 3.25 because again, this is a cube. All right, then I'll just draw a line from here to here. All right, and then we need to draw this portion. So if I go to my measure tool, um, the distance from this point to this point is 9.75. So we can go from this point, 9.75, enter. All right, and then we can connect this. Um, it should be 5.25 because it is this 10.5 divided by two. So we did that correctly. Okay, escape. And then I'll do a line down by 1.5, enter. And then connect it here, escape. All right, so the last thing you need to do is draw this, this hole right here. Um, it's a, you can see that it goes through the entire piece or base right here. So what we're gonna do for that is I'm going to zoom in, but you can see that it's a three inch diameter and it is over by 5.34. So it's actually the midpoint of this line. All right, so I'm gonna first identify where this is located. So I'm gonna draw a line from here to the midpoint. I have my midpoint snap on, so snap that there. And then I'll draw a line. It's a 6.5 over 6.5, enter, escape. So that will be the center of my circle. And now I'm going to draw a square or a rectangle around my circle. And so I'll draw this up by uh, radius will be 1.5, enter, go over here. Oh, and then escape. So this is our radius, but again, we have to scale it down because it's in the 45 degree direction, so 0.5, okay. And then we are going to draw a line that is 1.5 this way, that will be two scale. Again, this is going to be the, okay, there we go. Oh, I drew that incorrectly. Let's look at what the, this length is gonna be 0.75. All right, so we can do that. 0.75, enter. All right, so then we can connect these. We'll draw this 1.5, enter, and put that, okay, make sure it's at the right 
the polar tracking, so it's showing 45 degrees. Click. Then we're going to do another 0.75. Enter. This is going to be the 3. Enter. And then we'll connect it back here, and it should be 0.75. Escape. All right. And when you're drawing orthographic circles, the um, the quadrants will touch the midpoint of this square or rectangle. So I'm going to delete this line. Or no, I'll keep that line just to help us as a reference line. So when we're drawing it, we are going to uh, go to our draw. So home, draw, go to this where it says spline. It draws a spline with control vertices. So click that. You will start here. Click this vertice right here, and then click here, and then right click and click Enter. So if I click on the line, you can see that the vertices are right there, right there, and right there. If you accidentally mess up your vertice, you can always click on it and move it to where you want. So say I want it there, you can move it to that corner. However, we don't want it there, so I'm gonna do Control Z to go back, right? Let me make sure that this one is on there. Okay, awesome. We will draw it again to this. So we'll go to our line and draw from here to here to our midpoint. Oh, my midpoint snap not on. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, it is. So oh, there we go. Okay, then right click and hit enter. I can see that this did not go to the vertice, so I will just move it over there. All right. And then escape. And then I will do the draw line with control vertices again and go from, oh, okay. Is that the midpoint right there? I'm just going to extend this line to make sure. So extend, right click to select all objects and highlight over that one. Escape, and then click on this one. And yes, okay, just making sure this line is on the right. Spot. Okay, then I'll go to draw and then click that. So go here, go here, and then right click and hit enter. And then you can hit spacebar to rerun the command. Go from here to here to here, right click and hit enter. All right, and so here is my hold. On the assignment, there's going to be times where you're, you're going to see portions of the hole from the bottom view through this view because our thickness is, is not very thick in the assignment. However, for here, this one, we will not see any portion of the, this hole on the bottom, and I'll show you why. So we can see that the depth of this is 1.5, so I'll draw 1.5 down. Escape. Oh, I didn't draw it at the right spot. So I'll go to move this point down. All right, escape. And then I'm going to select uh, my entire arc, do a Control Shift C, best by base point, so there. Then I'll do Control V and move it. You can see how you can't see it at all in there, so I don't need to actually add that part. But in your assignment, that's how you can do that. I'm going to delete all of this. Delete. Delete. Delete this. Oh, did not mean to delete that. Let's delete that. And then that is your completed oblique view for this orthographic drawing.